So let's take a look at resource attributes for CloudFormation. These are additional behaviors you can apply to resources in your CloudFormation templates to change the relationships um, and you know just how things uh, happen when you have stack updates or deleting operations. So the first one we want to look at is creation policy. And what this is going to do is going to prevent the status from reaching a uh, create complete until CloudFormation receives a specified number of success signals or the timeout period is exceeded. So on the left hand, or right hand side, we could see we expect either three successes or we have a timeout of 15 minutes. Um, you know, and that's just to make sure that everything um, has been created, has successfully created. So it's just an additional uh, check there that you can put in there. Then you have deletion policy. And so this is going to happen when you are deleting something. So let's say you are, uh, you have a resource like an RDS database, and uh, you want to make sure that anytime it's deleted, it takes a snapshot. So that's what you could do. I think in most cases, you're going to want to retain that database. You generally do not want to delete your database, but it's going to uh, depend on the situation. So you have delete, retain, and snapshot. The next one is update policy. And this is only for ASG, Elastic Cache, Domain, and Lambda aliases. Um, and it's just whether the handle is going to get uh, uh, replaced. And so you got a Boolean, you either say yes, or like true, or false, and that's all there is to it. Then you have update replace policy. Uh, so this is when uh, you are doing a stack update. And it's the question of what's going to happen when that stack update occurs. Are you, are you going to delete the resource, retain it, or take a snapshot? So it's kind of similar to deletion policy, but it's when uh, resources are being replaced. The last case here is depends on. And so this is when you have a resource that's dependent on another resource. So you want that resource created first. So in our uh, uh, scenario here, we have an RDS database, an EC2 instance, and we're saying before you make the EC2 instance, go make the RDS database first. Uh, and so yeah, those are the resource attributes we can apply.